In the last two elections, 25% of voters have been white evangelicals, and 70% of them have gone Republican. Which means if the GOP is going to elect a president this year, they may want to pay attention to our power player of the week. God may not have a side when it comes to NAFTA and CAFTA. But I believe fervently that God has a side when it comes to the protection of all human life from conception to natural death and everywhere in between. Richard Land is head of the public policy arm of the Southern Baptist Convention. With 16 million members, it's the largest Protestant denomination in the country. Which means when Land speaks, Christians listen. Churchill was being praised for having inspired the British people during World War II, and his response was, he said, it was the people who had the lion's heart. I just had the privilege of giving voice to the lion's roar. It is our responsibility to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Land gives voice to the lion's roar on a variety of issues. He pushes for strict constructionist judges, opposes special benefits for gays, but supports comprehensive immigration reform, including a path to citizenship. Now he's looking ahead to the presidential race, and he sees problems with all the frontrunners. Rudy Giuliani. I would not vote for Rudy Giuliani. If you were running against Hillary Clinton, I would not vote in that race. If a man will be dishonest with his wife, um, he'll be dishonest with anybody. John McCain. I admire John McCain as a war hero, uh, but I think many evangelicals find John McCain to be unacceptably unpredictable. They just have no confidence about where he's going to come down on an issue. Mitt Romney. Land says he's advised Romney to deal directly with his religion. I don't think the Mormonism issue is a deal breaker, but only you can make Americans comfortable with voting for a Mormon for president in the same way that John Kennedy was the only one who could make Americans comfortable with voting for a Catholic. Land admires Sam Brownback and Mike Huckabee, but as a Washington veteran for almost two decades, doubts they can win. What about others who may still get in? Thompson. He's a masterful retail politician, and I've called him a Southern Fried Reagan. Newt Gingrich. My ethics are not flexible enough. Uh, to have um, um, been very critical of President Clinton for demeaning the office with his uh, marital infidelities and his uh, sexual misconduct, and then turn around and give Rudy Giuliani and Newt Gingrich a pass. Land is a surprising figure. The son of a Texas welder, he has degrees from Princeton and Oxford University. And he's just written a book in which he points out what both liberals and conservatives are missing in what he calls the God and Country Shouting Match. Too often, conservatives assume that God is on their side or that God is on America's side. We must never assume that. Uh, the problem that liberals, I find too often with liberals, is that they don't think God has a side. Richard Land says he got two letters the other day, both praising his book. One was from President Bush, the other from Ted Kennedy. And that's it for today. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Fox News Sunday.